and now remain standing for the student initiated invocation delivered today by Swagat Sharma, a PhD candidate in this year's graduating class. Good morning, hello all. UNMC is a home for graduate students from 32 different countries, which has given us the opportunity to learn from each other. Now, our family, friends, faculty, and administrators have come together to celebrate our accomplishments. The accolades earned and the degrees conferred are the result of hard work and long hours spent doing experiments, preparing for exams and fellowships, analyzing data, or just praying for that one experiment to be successful. This day is a culmination of our years of hard work and diligence. As we gather, recognizing our diversity in beliefs, values, faiths, tradition, but honoring our unity in gratitude, let us take a moment to thank those who supported us along this incredible journey. We are thankful for our family and friends who have shown unconditional support and encouragement. To our mentors, professors, and collaborators, we are so thankful for your skillfully imparted instruction and training to help us become better scientists and researchers. Last but not least, we are grateful for our colleagues who joined us on this journey and offered a sympathetic ear in our scientific struggles. Our accomplishments as graduates belong not only to us, but to those around us as well. As we gather here today, we ask for a blessing to fall upon those with ears to hear, eyes to see, and minds to understand. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Swagat. And now, join me in, in commemorating a moment of silence in memory of the almost 800,000 people that we have lost to COVID-19 during the past two years. Thank you very much. So welcome, you may be seated. <laughs> Welcome to the 2020, 2021 December University of Nebraska Medical Center Graduate Studies Convocation Ceremony. I am Deli Davies and I have the privilege of serving as the Senior Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs and the Dean of Graduate Studies here at UNMC. Today, we honor the achievements and perseverance of our graduates. We also recognize the contributions and support from parents, partners, children, relatives and friends who have helped the graduates reach this milestone. We are delighted that you could join us today for this celebratory event. Joining me here on the stage are several faculty and student leaders of, G G of UNMC Graduate Studies as well as special guests. I'll introduce some now and the others will be introduced as they get involved in the ceremony. First is Dr. Laura Bielek. Associate Professor of Physical Education Therapy, uh, Associate Dean for Research in the College of Allied Health Professions, and Director of the Medical Sciences Interdepartmental Area Graduate Program. Dr. Bielek is serving as one of our marshals today. Next is Dr. Lisa Bielek, the Field Medical Scientific Associate Director at Sanofi Genvine and president of our Graduate Studies, alumni, uh, Graduate Studies Engagement Council of the UNMC Alumni Association. Next is Dr. Pamela Carmines, professor of cellular and integrative physiology and executive associate dean for graduate studies. Dr. Sharon Metcalf is assistant professor of epidemiology and director of the Center for Biosecurity Biopreparedness and Emerging Infectious Diseases. She is also serving as one of our marshals today. Dr. Kendra Schmidt is Professor of Biostatistics and Assistant Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, Director of Campus Wide Assessment, and Assistant Dean for Graduate Studies. Paul Lovell is a PhD candidate in Pharmaceutical Sciences, and Paul is the president of our Graduate Student Association. And last, uh, Dr. Tyler Martin is the chairman and CEO of Adjuvance Technology. 
Tyler is an alumnus of UNMC and he is our keynote speaker today. The other members of the platform party are, in, are the individuals who, are, who have mentored our graduating students and each one of them will be introduced as they participate in the proceedings. I would ask you to just join me in welcoming our platform members. And now it is my pleasure to introduce to you through video the Dean of the University of Nebraska Graduate College, the Executive Vice President and Provost of the University of Nebraska System and Chancellor of UNMC, Dr. Jeffrey Gold. Hello, I'm Dr. Jeff Gold, and I am so proud to be with you today at the Graduate Studies Convocation, and so proud to be your chancellor here at the University of Nebraska Medical Center. Congratulations to each of you on this momentous day, and thank you so much, and congratulations as well to your loved ones, whether they be with you here today or watching us on live stream. I want to take this opportunity to thank each of you for your role in keeping the research going here at the University of Nebraska Medical Center, keeping it going at a time when many workplaces, many industries and businesses were forced to either pause or even close. This is a testament to your perseverance and it's not hyperbole to say, it's a testament to your courage. You were truly essential and you answered the call and you're just as essential today as you venture forth with your new degrees that you'll soon receive. And with all of the hard-won academic hood that you will soon be placed on your shoulders by a proud mentor. Through your education and training here at the University of Nebraska Medical Center, you've learned to question, you've learned to problem solve, to collaborate, and you've learned to innovate. You've also learned to take in a situation and to see something that others may have missed. These skills are needed now more than ever. And I can't wait to see what you, what each of you will do with them. And I can't wait to see you at commencement. So until then, congratulations again. Thanks to your mentors and your loved ones. You've made it. Thank you, Chancellor Gold. We're very grateful for your leadership. And now I invite to the podium Dr. Lisa Bielek, President of the Graduate Studies Engagement Council of the UNMC Alumni Association. Hello. It is my absolute pleasure to congratulate each of you on this incredible accomplishment. I was in your shoes about eight years ago when I attended the December convocation and gradu graduation in 2013. I had defended my dissertation about a week or two prior and had accepted an offer for my first job. From this ceremony, I have pictures of me and my family and my mentors smiling and accepting my diploma and it looked really picture perfect. <laughs> However, my memory of this day is a little bit different. I think I actually had my first panic attack on my way to the DRC auditorium to defend my dissertation. In hindsight, I really should have given myself more time to feel prepared, but I had gotten married about a month earlier and spent a week in Mexico on my honeymoon. Not ideal timing, um, but I really don't know if it's harder to reschedule a wedding or a defense. I was starting my job in about three weeks and I had no idea what I was actually going to be doing day to day. I had gotten pretty good at adoptive transfer of regulatory T cells into MPTP mice, but I was unsure of what else I was good at. Don't worry, I figured it out. I found myself working in a competitive and fast paced industry that changed, it seemed like every day but my time doing bench research prepared me to plan and to adapt. I found myself creating and delivering presentations on complex science, but my mentor taught me how to appropriately contextualize data and structure a presentation to fit any audience. 
My team ultimately needed a subject matter expert on neuroimmunology, and my professors at UNMC had made me one. I know that you've been through quite a lot to get you here today, but I encourage you to take a minute to avoid looking ahead with anxiety. Rather, look back on the last few years with pride and with gratitude, and allow your accomplishments to give you the earned confidence boost that you need to take on the undoubtedly exciting careers that are waiting for you. So I'd like to officially welcome you to the alumni side of your degree and say on behalf of the Alumni Association, we're so excited to have you. In 2015, the Alumni Association voted to eliminate membership dues and usher in a new era of alumni engagement. The goal of this change was to become all-inclusive and to welcome all graduates as automatic members. I am proud to welcome you to the UNMC Alumni Association. As you leave today's ceremony, stop by our table to pick up a gift of an insulated travel mug from uh, the Graduate Studies Alumni Account Council and a UNMC alumni pin from the Alumni Association. As you take the next steps in your career, I encourage you to wear your lapel print pin with pride. Remember that the Alumni Association will continue to be a resource for you to stay connected to your classmates, the Graduate Studies Program, as well as to UNMC. We invite you to join our online community, Alumni Connections, if you haven't already. This will be your way to keep up with your classmates and to give back to the students who will come after you. If you're like me and you find that gratitude is the sentiment that rises out of your time at UNMC, please reach out. Even beyond alumni connections, there are many other ways to stay involved with your alumni association. Again, congratulations and best wishes to you, the members of the UNMC Graduate Studies Class of 2021. Thank you very much, Lisa. The major goal of this convocation ceremony is to honor and celebrate the achievements of our graduating students. To begin that process, Dr. Kendra Schmidt, Assistant Dean for Graduate Studies, will introduce the Student Award recipients. Paul Lovell, President of the Graduate Student Association, will assist with the award presentations. The Service Learning Interprofessional Education Badge Program allows graduate students to document time spent in important career and professional development activities outside the classroom and to reflect on the contribution of these activities to their professional growth. UNMC offers four levels of recognition, bronze through platinum, each with increasing level requiring more service learning or interprofessional education activities. One of our December graduates, Miranda Thompson, earned the Platinum Badge. Miranda, please join Dr. Davies on the stage. Miranda's Platinum Badge reflects completion of well over 200 badge hours, some of which include attending many professional development sessions, engaging in DEI initiatives, including membership on the Diversity and Inclusivity Committee and His Hispanic Heritage Month Planning Committee, attending an online teaching course and completing dissertation boot camp. As the Empower president for four years, Miranda has advocated for Empower's mission to raise awareness about interpersonal violence through new student organization fairs and campus outreach events. She recently competed in the Office of Community Engagement's Shark Tank, where she presented Empower's engagement on campus and in the community. She won the competition pitching for support of training on motivational interviewing. We congratulate Miranda for earning the platinum badge. <laughs> UNMC Graduate Studies honors students who have received national or international recognition by designating them graduate students of distinction, and their accomplishments are highlighted on our website. 
Among the select group of students who have earned this distinction are several members of this graduating class, three of whom are here today. As I call your name, please come forward to be recognized. Tyler Herrick was the recipient of a five-year graduate research fellowship from the National Science Foundation. This fellowship was awarded based on Tyler's demonstrated potential to contribute to strengthening the vitality of US science and engineering enterprise and supported his research on tumor microenvironment signaling in prognostic indicators in peripheral T cell lymphoma. Based on receipt of this prestigious national fellowship, Tyler was named a UNMC Graduate Student of Distinction. Congratulations. Sarah Schlichte was the recipient of a two-year F31 National Research Service Award pre-doctoral fellowship from the NIH National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute. This fellowship supported her studies on the mechanism through which a new antioxidant medication decreases blood pressure in both normotensive and hypertensive conditions. Based on the receipt of this prestigious national fellowship, Sarah was named a UNMC Graduate Student of Distinction. Congratulations. <laughs> Miranda Thompson was one of only 40 scholars selected from a nationwide pool in 2020 as fellows of the Yale Ciencia Academy. This 13-month program, funded by the National Institutes of Health, provides graduate students with opportunities for mentoring, networking, and skills development, and for making contributions to their communities through science outreach. Based on her selection for this prestigious national program, Miranda was named a UNMC Graduate Student of Distinction. Congratulations. Now I invite Dr. Davies back to the podium. Thank you, Dr. Schmidt. Congratulations to all our award recipients. Of course, each graduate deserves congratulations for earning their degree, as well as recognition for your accomplishments. That is exactly our intent during the next portion of our, grad of our program, the hooding of each graduate. The hood is a special part of the academic regalia that denotes scholarly and professional achievement. During the hooding ceremony, the student's mentor places the master's or doctoral hood over the head of the graduate, signifying his or her success in completing the graduate program. This is a special ceremonial event steeped in tradition, during which we'll also celebrate each student's major accomplishments. I encourage you to refer to the ceremony program for a more detailed listing of each graduate's achievements. Dr. Carmines will introduce the degree candidates. It's my pleasure to announce the candidates for the Master of Science degree. Graduates, as I call your name, please join your mentor on the stage for the hooding, which will be performed with the assistance of Dr. Schmidt. Jennifer Lee Andres, please come forward. Jennifer, from Polk City, Iowa, earned the Master of Science degree in Pathology and Microbiology. Dr. Ken Bales served as her advisor and is performing the hooding. Jennifer's thesis research yielded three conference presentations and two publications. Congratulations, Jennifer. <laughs> Paran Goel, please come forward. Paran from Hyderabad, India, earned the Master of Science degree in Immunology, Pathology, and Infectious Disease. Dr. Rakesh Singh served as his advisor and is performing the hooding. 
Perrin's thesis research resulted in a conference presentation and six publications. Having completed his degree in August, he's now pursuing a PhD degree in immunology at the University of Alabama at Birmingham. Congratulations. <laughs> Yamna Abubakar Hafaji, please join us on the stage. Yamna from Surat, India, earned a Master of Science degree in Biochemistry and Molecular Biology. Her thesis advisor was Dr. Ashley Moore, who is performing the hooding. Having completed her degree in August, Yamna is now working as an associate scientist at Bristol Myers Scribb in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Congratulations. <laughs> Andrew M. Kissling, please come forward. Andrew from Liberty, Missouri, earned a Master of Science degree in Biochemistry and Molecular Biology. Andrew's research, which resulted in a publication, was performed under the mentorship of Dr. Sushil Kumar, who's performing the hooding. Congratulations. Mary Elizabeth Morris, please come forward. Mary's hometown is Dallas, Texas. She earned the Master of Science degree in Biochemistry and Molecular Biology with Dr. Melissa Teo Fitzgerald as her advisor. Dr. Lori Steinke is performing the hooding. Congratulations. Rajni Mukandan, please join us on the stage. Rajni, who hails from Chennai, India, earned the Master of Science degree in Pharmaceutical Sciences. Her research was performed under the mentorship of Dr. Dong Wong, who's performing the hooding. Congratulations. Ogany Tejuri V. Smith from Bellevue, Nebraska, earned the Master of Science degree in Biochemistry and Molecular Biology. Dr. Lori Steinke served as their advisor, and Melissa Teo Fitzgerald is performing the hooding. Having completed degree requirements in August, Tajiri works as a research assistant at Boys Town National Hos Research Hospital here in Omaha. Congratulations. <laughs> Kimberly M. Ziegenhorn, please come forward. Kimberly, who hails from Grace Lake, Illinois, earned the Master of Science degree in Immunology, Pathology, and Infectious Disease. Dr. Rakesh Singh served as her advisor and is performing the hooding. Congratulations, Kimberly. Now I'm pleased to announce the candidates for the Doctor of Philosophy degree. And to celebrate just a few of their accomplishments, they are many and they are listed in more detail in the program. Each, uh, each dissertation title for each candidate is also provided in the program. So, Alicia Agarwal from Panchkula, India, earned the PhD degree in Health Services Research Administration and Policy, and Policy under the supervision of Dr. Hyojin Tak, who is performing the hooding. Alicia's research resulted in non, nine conference presentations and four publications. She was active in student organizations on campus, holding elected leadership positions in both the College of Public Health Student Association and the Graduate Student Association. Having completed her degree in August, Alicia is now a senior medical science liaison at the Janssen Pharmaceutical Companies of Johnson & Johnson. Congratulations. <laughs> so, 
Zainab Nasser Alazri from Oman earned the PhD degree in nursing under the supervision of Dr. Kathy Hanna. Her studies at UNMC were supported by a non-resident scholarship. Zainab's dissertation research resulted in a conference presentation and four publications. She will be returning to her home country to an assistant professor faculty position at Sultan Qaboos University. Congratulations. <laughs> Carl Stacy M. Bissalou from Libreville, Gabon, earned the PhD degree in biostatistics. Dr. Gleb Hinatsky served as his advisor. Carl's research resulted in six conference presentations and at least 11 publications. He served as president of the Nebraska chapter of the American Statistical Association and was a volunteer in several student service initiatives on campus. Carl has accepted a biostatistician position for Streck Labs here in Omaha metro area. Congratulations. <laughs> Lindsay Marie Donner from Omaha earned the PhD degree in the medical sciences interdepartmental area specializing in pathology and microbiology. She benefited from the mentorship of two advisors, Drs. Scott Campbell and Trevor Van Schoenveld. Lindsay communicated her research results in the form of two conference presentations and a publication. As a member of the UNMC faculty, she completed her degree as a part-time student and continues to serve as microbiology coordinator and assistant professor of medical laboratory sciences in UNMC's College of Allied Health Professions. Congratulations. <laughs> Tyler Andrew Herrick from Omaha earned the PhD degree in cancer research under the supervision of Dr. Javid Iqbal. In his absence, Dr. Schmid, well, somebody else is performing, go ahead. <laughs> In, in addition to the National Science Foundation Fellowship that led to graduate student of distinction status, Tyler was an NCI Cancer Biology Training Grant Fellow. His research resulted in three conference presentations and five publications. He also served as student representative for the Cancer Research Graduate Program and was involved in mentoring students who were participating in the Summer Undergraduate Research Program. Congratulations, Tyler. Lisa M. Jorgensen from Webster, South Dakota, earned the PhD degree in the Interdisciplinary Graduate Program in Biomedical Sciences, specializing in immunology, pathology, and infectious disease. Her advisor was Dr. Elizabeth Rux. Lisa's research resulted in six publications as well as seven conference presentations, three of which garnered Best Presentation Awards. She served as a graduate student co-representative in the Department of Pathology and Microbiology and was an instructor for the UNMC High School Alliance. Lisa has accepted a licensing associate position with Unimed here in Omaha. Congratulations. <laughs> Navneet Kaur from Nupur, India earned the PhD degree in the Interdisciplinary Graduate Program in Biomedical Sciences, specializing in biochemistry and molecular biology. Dr. Jennifer Black was her advisor. Navneet was a recipient of a UNMC Graduate Studies Assistantship. She delivered seven conference presentations, one of which yielded a Best Presentation Award, and has generated one publication thus far. Navneet was a leader on campus, serving as secretary of the International Student Association, as well as international chair and outreach chair for the Graduate Student Association. She also has been an active community volunteer and participated in multiple student-led service initiatives. Congratulations. <laughs> Tanmay Abe Kulkarni from Nashik, India, earned the PhD degree in pharmaceutical sciences under the mentorship of Drs. Howard Gendelman and Benson Adagwa. Uh, Dr. Schmidt is performing the hooding. Um, Tanmay was the recipient of a UNMC Graduate Studies Assistantship as well as a new investigator travel award and scholarship 
to present his work at an international conference. He delivered three additional conference presentations and his work has resulted in two publications. Having completed his degree in August, Tanmay now holds a scientist position at Bristol Myers Squibb in Devons, Massachusetts. Congratulations. <laughs> Frank Leon from San Juan Capistrano, California, earned the PhD degree in the interdisciplinary graduate program in biomedical sciences, specializing in biochemistry and molecular biology. Dr. Morthe Panasum served as his advisor. Frank communicated his research findings in the form of six conference presentations and six publications. While pursuing his degree, he also served as a student representative for the Department of Biochemistry and Molecular Biology. Congratulations. <laughs> Alec Daniel McCarthy from Omaha earned a PhD degree in the medical sciences interdepartmental area specializing in regenerative medicine and biomaterials design. Dr. Jingwei Ji served as his advisor. Alec came to UNMC as an INBRI scholar. His efforts in the research laboratory resulted in nine conference presentations and nearly two dozen publications. He was also the winner of the UNIMED Innovators of the Year Engineering Pitch Challenge. Alex Alec has accepted a medical science liaison position with Mertz Aesthetics in Miami, Florida. Congratulations. <laughs> Jessica Jo Miller from O'Neill, Nebraska, earned the PhD degree in nursing under the supervision of Dr. De Bunny Pozel. She also earned an adult gerontology primary care nurse practitioner postgraduate certificate. Jessica was recipient of the Jonas Nursing and Veterans Healthcare Philanthropy Scholarship. She delivered three conference presentations and generated four publications. In addition, she served as co-chair of the Midwestern Nursing Research Society Self-Care Research Interest Group. Jessica now holds an assistant professor position in the UNMC College of Nursing's Lincoln Division. Congratulations. Kavita Mosalpuria from Jodhpur, India, earned the PhD degree in Health Services Research Administration under, uh, and Policy. Dr. David Palm served as her advisor. Kavita was recipient of the Kareth J. Wagner MD Scholarship in Public Health. She communicated her research findings in the form of five conference presentations and three publications. While pursuing her degree, she was the College of Public Health representative to UNMC's Center for Global Health and the Aging Interprofessional Group. She has also been active in the American Public Health Association and the International Social and Behavioral Behavior Change Communication Summit. Kavita has accepted a postdoctoral fellow position with the University of Utah in Salt Lake City. Congratulations. Madeline Therese Olson from Duluth, Minnesota, earned the PhD degree in the Interdisciplinary Graduate Program in Biomedical Sciences, specializing in cancer research. Dr. Erin Mose served as her advisor. She was recipient of a UNMC Graduate Studies Assistantship and was an NCI Cancer Biology Training Grant Fellow. She also was named a University of Nebraska Presidential Graduate Fellow. Maddie's research resulted in two conference presentations and four publications, as well as recognition at UNMC in the form of the Norman and Bernice Harris Award for Excellence in Cancer Research and the Sean Jessen, Jessen Memorial Cancer Research Award. She served as student representative for the Cancer Research Graduate Program and as alumni chair for the Graduate Student Association. Maddie has accepted a clinical scientist position with Onco Nano Medicine in South Lake, Texas. Congratulations. <laughs> Omala Allen Owenyi from Kampala, Uganda, earned the PhD degree in the interdisciplinary graduate program in biomedical sciences, 
specializing in immunology, immunology, pathology, and infectious disease. His research was performed under the joint mentorship of Dr. Sid Byrareddy and Courtney Fletcher. Dr. Rakesh Singh, I think, is Byrareddy, is performing the hooding. Allen attended UNMC as a Fulbright Scholar. His research resulted in four conference presentations and three publications, and he was the recipient of travel awards to attend several international conferences. He's accepted a position as technical manager of the Flow Cytometry Core Facility at Creighton University here in Omaha. Congratulations. Sanjeet Pandey from Gorkha, Nepal, Nepal, earned the PhD degree in biomedical informatics under the mentorship of Dr. Babu Gouda. Dr. Schmidt is performing the hooding. Sanjeet's research resulted in four conference presentations and eight publications. Having completed his degree in August, he holds the position of assistant director of UNMC's Bioinformatics and Systems Biology Corps. Congratulations, Sanjeet. Eric Stanley Peoples from Phoenix, Arizona, earned the PhD degree in the medical sciences interdepartmental area through the Clinical and Translational Research Mentors Scholars Program. This program is special. It's specifically designed for UNMC faculty who pursue graduate degrees part-time while working full-time, usually as physicians. So while working as a pediatric neonatologist, Eric pursued his PhD degree part-time under the mentorship of Dr. Ann Anderson Berry, who performed the hooding. His research resulted in 19 conference presentations and at least 15 publications. Eric currently holds the rank of Associate Professor of Pediatrics at UNMC and at Children's Hospital and Medical Center here in Omaha. Congratulations. Megan C. Perry from West Point, Nebraska, earned the PhD degree in genetics, cell biology, and anatomy under the mentorship of Dr. Garji Gosal. She was recipient of a UNMC Graduate Studies Assistantship and was named a University of Nebraska Presidential Graduate Fellow. Megan's research resulted in 11 conference presentations and a publication. As an anatomy teaching track student, she not only pursued her dis dissertation research requirements, but also was a lab instructor for gross anatomy, histology, and neuroanatomy courses in the medical school curriculum. Beyond degree requirements, Megan served as a student representative for the Department of Genetics and S Cell Biology and Anatomy. Congratulations. <laughs> Andrew J. Phillips from Milwaukee, Wisconsin earned the PhD degree in the Interdisciplinary Graduate Program in Biomedical Sciences, specializing in cancer research. Dr. Justin Mott served as advisor. Andrew was recipient of a UNMC Graduate Studies Assistantship. He delivered eight conference presentations on his research, which resulted in one publication thus far. He was also a coach for the Special Olympics of Nebraska. As an MD PhD scholar, the awarding of the PhD degree institutes a shift of his attention to the task of completing the final two years of medical school here at UNMC. Congratulations, Andrew. <laughs> Zijian Chin from Nanning, China, earned the PhD degree in environmental health, occupational health, and toxicology under the mentorship of Dr. Chandran Achutin. Zijian was the recipient of UNMC's Susan and Ward Chambers Global Health Fellowship, as well as an Innovation Fund Award from the College of Public Health. His research resulted in nine conference presentation and two publications. He was a student inductee into the Delta Omega Honor Society and was instructor in the Council for Accreditation in Occupational Hearing Conservationist Certificate course. Having completed the degree in August, he's working as an environmental health specialist here at UNMC. Congratulations. <laughs> Bayan Ren from Guizhou, China, earned the PhD in the Interdisciplinary Graduate Program in Biomedical Sciences, specializing 
in biochemistry and molecular biology. Dr. Anna Denevsky-Hunt was Bayan's advisor, but in her absence, Dr. Schmidt is performing the hooding. Bayan presented five conference presentations on her research finding, which has resulted in two publications. She's accepted a data scientist position at McKesson, McKesson Corporation in Dallas, Texas. Congratulations. Sarah L. Schlichty from Templeton, Iowa, earned the PhD degree in the Interdisciplinary Graduate Program in Biomedical Sciences, specializing in integrative physiology and molecular medicine. Dr. Matt Zimmerman served as her advisor. We're already aware of the NIH fellowship that led to her graduate student of distinction status. Sarah's research resulted in eight conference presentations and six publications. She was elected student representative to the Department of Cellular and Integrative Physiology, to the Nebraska Physiological Society, and the Midland Society of Physiological Sciences, and was named the Alice Cummings Award recipient as the most outstanding physiology student. Sarah completed UNMC's teaching proficiency program and now holds an assistant professor position at Buena Vista University in Storm Lake, Iowa. Congratulations. <clears throat> Swagat H. Sharma from Gandhinagar, Gen India, I probably got that close, earned the, PhD, earned the PhD degree in pharmaceutical sciences under the mentorship of Dr. Corey Hopkins. Swagat was a representative of a recipient of a UNMC graduate student assist, studies assistantship and was named a Purdue Pharma scholar. He was recipient of the Philip I. Mockett Student Leadership Award, reflecting his service as social co-chair and then president of UNMC's Graduate Student Association, as well as secretary of the UNMC chapter of the American Association of Pharmaceutical Sciences. Swagat's research resulted in five conference presentations and eight publications. He has just begun a postdoctoral research associate position at Northwestern University in Evansville, Illinois. Congratulations. <laughs> Sudesh Sathikel from Bangalore, India, earned the PhD degree in biomedical informatics under the supervision of Dr. Babu Gouda. Uh, Dr. Schmidt is performing the hooding. Sadesh was recipient of a UNMC Graduate Studies Assistantship. His research resulted in three conference presentations and nine publications. He served on UNMC's Grievance Resolution Committee and volunteered as a canine companion for the Nebraska Humane Society. Sadesh has accepted a postdoctoral fellow position at Eli Lilly in Indianapolis, Indiana. Congratulations. Miranda K. Thompson from Phoenix, Arizona, earned the PhD degree in the medical sciences interdepartmental area, specializing in patient-oriented research. Dr. Ann Anderson Berry was her advisor. Miranda was a recipient of a UNMC graduate studies assistantship. Her research resulted in eight conference presentations and four publications. As already noted, she received national recognition as a Yale Ciencia Academy Fellow, which resulted in the Graduate Student of Distinction status, and she earned the Platinum Service Learning Interprofessional Education Badge. In addition, she received the UNMC Student Senate Impact Award in recognition of her impact on the campus and the community. As an MD-PhD scholar, Miranda is returning to the College of Medicine as a third-year medical student. Congratulations. Is there no one else? No one else over there? Okay, there's one more on my list that I don't get to describe their success. Okay, well, that said, congratulations to all of the degree candidates. <laughs> Dr. Davis.
Wow, congratulations again. What a great, great uh, set of accomplishments you all have. There are but a few more steps to take before our... Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I, I apologize. Okay. So, the final student who was on my list just now flew into Omaha and has just walked into the okay. door. <laughs> so, Yaqing Wang from Shuzhou, China, earned the PhD degree in pharmaceutical sciences under the mentorship of Dr. Yuri Lubchenko. Yaqing attended UNMC as a China Scholarship Council scholar. She delivered three conference presentations on her research, which has yielded four publications. Yaqing has accepted a postdoctoral fellow position at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory in California. It's a, get a good picture. Yeah, she flew here for this. Congratulations. We have to be flexible. Yeah. That was definitely worth the wait. <laughs> okay. There are now but a few more steps to take before our graduates move forward into the next stage of their lives and careers. One will take place tomorrow evening when degrees are conferred at the UNMC commencement ceremony, which will be held at Baxter Arena, and we invite you all to that. Another step occurs now as the graduates take an oath written by UNMC graduate students, pledging their professional integrity. The oath can be found on the back of the program Graduating students, please stand and take the oath along with me. I faithfully pledge to uphold my professional integrity by maintaining the highest standard of ethics and quality in my pursuit of academic and professional excellence. I will uphold an unwavering commitment to report and interpret my research or professional findings with steadfast honesty and clarity. I pledge to share openly and generously my discoveries, obstacles, and triumphs. I will work to improve our world through communication with peers and teaching students of all ages. I will strive to be continually conscious of the responsibility that accompanies the endowment of my degree. It is with tremendous pride and enthusiasm that I seal my commitment to advance mankind through extraordinary biomedical research, teaching, or provision of service. Thank you, you may be seated. We are delighted to have Dr. Tyler Martin as the keynote speaker for today's ceremony. Dr. Martin is one of UNMC's esteemed alumni, a native Nebraskan. He received his MD from UNMC in 1986. As a medical assistance program readers digest international fellow, he spent his last semester of medical school in a hospital in rural, rural Zaire, now Congo. He trained in pediatrics at UNMC, then became a postdoctoral fellow in pediatric infectious diseases and molecular biology, microbiology at WashU in St. Louis. In 1993, he moved to the San Francisco Bay Area to take a clinical research position at Chiron, where he led the team that developed the adjuvated influenza vaccine, Fluad. He continued to work in biotechnology, primarily in infectious diseases, therapeutics, vaccinology, and gene therapy. In 2009, he became the president and chief medical officer at Dynamax, Dynavax, and led the team that developed the adjuvated hepatitis B vaccine, Heplisav B. In 2013, he retired and moved home to Nebraska, but could not stay retired. And he agreed to lead adjuvants, a company with a novel vaccine adjuvant platform, developing improved commercial and global health vaccines, targeting shingles, malaria, and tuberculosis. Dr. Martin serves on several local boards, including Unimed, Unitech and BioNebraska. Because he exemplifies a UNMC trained scientist 
whose work has an ongoing major impact across the country and around the world. It is my distinct privilege and pleasure to invite my friend and colleague, Dr. Tyler Martin, to the podium as our keynote speaker. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Davies and graduates. I'm delighted to be here with you this morning to celebrate your success and your accomplishment. I'd like to begin my brief comments by congratulating you on reaching this point in your development as contributors to the life science enterprise. Starting graduate school is an important accomplishment. Finishing graduate school is a greater accomplishment. You're all to be commended for reaching this very important milestone in your career, congratulations. As you celebrate this milestone, I want to encourage you regarding your future in the life science enterprise. You will shortly discover that in fact, you are starting over, that this degree is your ticket to get to the table, it's not your ticket to stay at the table. There are challenges ahead and new milestones to reach, new accomplishments to attain as you transition from graduate student to researcher or practitioner. My comments will focus on these future challenges with the understanding that your technical success is your ticket, but you'll need interpersonal skills to be successful as you progress into your next season of professional life. My first encouragement to you is to be excellent. Your being here signifies your individual excellence up to this point, but this challenge to be excellent will continue through the rest of your career. I'd encourage you to never stop pursuing excellence. In our field, there's always more to learn and more to discover. To be successful, you can never stop, alone or in collaboration, if you're going to be diligent in this area. There will always be ways for you to contribute to the life science enterprise in research, in practice, or industry, if you continue to be excellent. My second encouragement for you is to respect your colleagues. As grad students, um, you're on sort of the lower part of the uh, life science enterprise food chain. Um, some of you have had uh, positive experiences in that part of the, of the org chart, some negative experiences. Remember those as you move through your career. Remember how you were treated well and how you were not treated well. And as you develop teams that you lead, remember how to lead those people and lead them in the ways that you enjoyed being led and don't lead them in the ways that you didn't so much enjoy being led. You'll also have peers that you'll be working with um, in, your, uh, in your career. And those peers are also excellent at whatever their discipline is. And to have a successful team, we need everybody to bring their excellence to the table. And therefore, we need to respect the fact that someone else knows more about something than I do. So an example in my company is if, if my company is limited to my knowledge of biostatistics or cellular immunology, we're going to have a problem. I hire people who, to join our team who are experts in that area, and we rely on their expertise, not on mine. And for us to be successful, we, we have to recognize that everybody has a unique skill set and an area of excellence that they bring to the table. I just went off script, so now I'm having to figure out where, I, where I'm supposed to. Um, Respect your colleagues. Okay, third encouragement, be thankful. While you've all worked very hard to get to this point, you were also the recipient of many blessings that you did not create. For example, many of you have had the benefit of parents who encouraged you or sacrificed for you to have the opportunities that you have. You should be thankful for that. There was no requirement for them to do so. They did so to bless you. Many of you had teachers in elementary, secondary school who fostered a desire to learn and achieve, peers who shared advice with you, college professors who inspired you, or graduate advisors who gave you guidance and encouragement that helped you get to where you are today. It's important to be thankful for those opportunities that you've been given. Certainly, you, you had to take hold of those opportunities and turn them into accomplishments, but you weren't guaranteed those opportunities. Someone else decided to help you. It's very important to remember that so that you can be thankful and remember as you move through this next season of your, of your professional life, you can be the type of person that others will later be thankful for. 
My final encouragement to you is to be confident. The world outside of grad school, the world outside of this place, can sometimes seem intimidating. You're accomplished, you're outstanding. You're gonna have myriad opportunities in front of you as you go forward in your career. UNMC graduates are in demand. Just listen to the variety of opportunities that, that this group of people has, has in front of them today, let alone as you proceed in, in your life. Early in my career, I often felt a bit timid when engaging with colleagues who were from academic institutions that were considered more prestigious than my own. But what I found is that I had outstanding training. UNMC punches above its weight, and that training enabled me to compete with anyone. Building on that strong foundation, then learning how to work well within a team led to my being able to have a career that was both enjoyable and productive. I'm confident that each of you can have the same experience, a career in life science that you can enjoy, where your talents can be put to work to produce outcomes that will bless others. Thank you and Godspeed. Thank you so much. Take this off. Thank you so much, Dr. Madden, for your insightful and thought-provoking remarks. We have this small gift of appreciation for you to commemorate this occasion. I liked exactly the, the four things you said, that they should be excellent, be respectful, be thankful, and be confident. And I like the fact that you recognize that UNSC punch is above our weight. So we're very grateful for you to have taken this time. And you're a great role model for all of our students here. And we, we're very pleased with the success you've had with your career. Thank so you, thank, you. thank you. Thank you, Dr. Thank you so much. <laughs> And now, graduates, congratulations again to each and every one of you for your extraordinary accomplishments and the resiliency you have shown in completing your rigorous training here at UNMC. You've made it to this day after years upon years of hard work, after late nights, after long days, and after overcoming hurdles along the way. You have made many sacrifices, given up so much, and now you're about to be rewarded with your hard-earned degrees. Some of you will be continuing on to postdoctoral training while, while others of you are going to a new job in industry. Some of you will be taking on a teaching job at an institution of higher learning. Some of you are staying here with us at UNMC. Whatever your situation, we are very proud of each and every one of you and what you've accomplished. And we are equally, equally confident that you have great careers ahead of you. The profound impact the COVID-19 pandemic continues to have on every aspect of our lives with this ongoing fourth wave of Delta and the recent emergence of Omicron infections demonstrates to us why we need to continue to train students such as yourselves who will be conducting the research that will provide solutions and help the world cope better with the current and future pandemics and to solve other grand challenges in health and science. You are now poised to begin the next phases of your lives. In doing so, I encourage you to choose to bring your full passion, enthusiasm, and grit to every situation you will be a part of. Remember, you're on a lifelong journey of excellence. So strive to keep looking for that golden opportunity in every adverse situation of your life to transform yourself, and in doing so, to transform your community, and ultimately to transform the lives of everyone around you and to change the world. In doing so, do take care of your physical and emotional health. Ensure that you remain integrated into, the, into your social networks and draw strongly on your family and friends to support you during the challenging times of your lives. One of the most important lesson, lessons we have learned during the lockdowns and social isolation of this pandemic is that connectedness is an integral part of who we are as human beings. I encourage you to get involved and to become agents of positive change in the communities you'll be working in. We are very confident that you have received extraordinary training here at UNMC and that you will excel and be the future leaders and giants in your chosen fields long after you have left us. I want, you, I want to leave you with the words of Ralph Waldo Emerson, Emerson who said, without ambition, one starts nothing. Without work, one finishes nothing. 
The prize will not be sent to you. You have to win it. And now go out, solve the problems that will change the world, and know that we are with you in believing that you can change the world. Thank you. As we conclude this convocation, I would like to recognize those individuals to whom our graduates are intricately entangled, those of you who have enabled them to reach this day. First, if you're a husband, wife, partner, significant other, or child of our graduate, please stand and remain standing. Second, if you're a parent of any of our graduates, graduating students, please stand and remain standing. Next, grandparents, aunts, uncles, or other relatives and friends of our graduates, please stand. I don't think anybody should be left seating here. <laughs> we thank all of these individuals for their major investment in today's graduates, and our graduates, I please ask you to join me in applauding all those who have made you successful. You may be seated. I would like to also take this opportunity to recognize those very dedicated individuals who have spent several years with these graduates, preparing them for their lives of continued learning and dedicated study and service to others. These individuals, of course, of whom I speak, are our faculty, our amazing faculty. Would all the faculty please stand so we can recognize you? Thank you very much for all you've done and continue to do for our students. Lastly, to the graduates once more, as you continue to strive for excellence in reaching your career goals, I wish you good health, happiness, and success in the challenging years ahead. Congratulations on your achievements in reaching this convocation day. Good luck and Godspeed, and we look forward to seeing all of you tomorrow.